The date is January 27th, 2023, and here we are opening a product featuring rookies that were drafted on July 29th, 2021. What are we doing here, Hobby? Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? RGL coming at you on a Friday with a brand new product. And uh, today we are checking out some 2021-2022. I can't believe we are still ripping this class and we still have Flawless to come next month. We have 21-22 Mosaic first off the line. We are going to get two exclusive first off the line Swirl par Parallels numbered to 11 in this product. This is a very, very late cycle release. We've already had 2022-2023 hoops uh, featuring uh, Paulo Banquero, among others, but we're going back to the Cade Cunningham, uh, Jalen Green, Scotty Barnes, rookie class right here, Alperin Shengun, uh, because we have more 21-22 basketball coming off the pipeline from Panini. Uh, and uh, this one is coming in at around 375 to 400 dollars per hobby box first off the line did actually floor at 400 dollars how come you don't want me man and uh this is a late cycle product every year unlike football which comes out early in the cycle window so you know we don't have prism and we don't have optic before uh mosaic comes out which is where i think mosaic should personally be slated at the start of the cycle so I think if anything, we should see Mosaic from next year in like three months. We won't, but we should. That is just a fact of life. The collector sentiment on Mosaic has really fallen off a cliff. It started off pretty popular in 2020. And this is a uh, Mosaic actually dates back to 1617 basketball with Prism Mosaic basketball, uh, which they made as a, uh, they made it as a, as a, hey, we're sorry for a horrible product that they put out called a uh, Panini replay, which was a buyback set. And, uh, Anyways, that's the origins. You don't need to hear it. This product started off pretty cool. You know, everybody was in the Zion Genesis chase and the Zion chase. And of course, then last year with the Ant-Man and Lamello rookie year, Mosaic basketball just kind of died to death. And the stock has dropped to zero. It has some pretty cool looking inserts. But other than that, the parallels are fairly cheap when you consider them compared to uh, Optic Select and Prism. And so this one is most definitely fourth in, in the chain of uh, in tier list in terms of the Chromium basketball releases. Little nerd. A little nerdy talk for you right there, um, but I enjoy it. I think it's a fun product. The singles just typically do not hold their value like the other sets, but it's a fun set and it is an insert driven set. So you get better inserts in this one than select optic and uh, select optic and prism. Uh, turn it over on the back, show you everything back there. Uh, we are looking for mosaic black one of ones today. Uh, we are going to get one autograph per box. And uh, yeah, you can see the case hits are the um, case hits are going to be the rookie eruption translucent, and then also uh, there is stained glass as well. Um, so those are the case hits. Stained glass always super popular, and uh, in my opinion, one of the more undervalued uh, one of the more undervalued case hits in basketball right now. Um, stained glass typically with football does much much better. Uh, first off the line parallel in the very first pack. All right. Uh, right off the rip and no surprise here because we've seen this with uh, we've seen this with football issues on the surfaces of these cards uh, Panini just has not been able to get it right for about three years um, so surface issues uh, surface surface issues abound let's go to the back we have a montage of Donovan Mitchell Stairmasters of Kristaps Porzingis uh, Isaiah Todd James Booknight rookies Zach Levine that is a national pride all of these, uh, all of these inserts and all of these um, subsets are a part of football. So, if they look familiar, that is why. Precious Achua. Let's go to the back. We've got R.J. Hampton. That will be numbered to 99 on the blue team color. Uh, silver. Oh, Poku. I thought that was uh, giddy for a second right there. Poku on the silver and our first of two first off the line parallels for the Brooklyn Nets. That's gonna be Cam Thomas to 11. Uh, 9 of 11 on the Cam Thomas. Now, I will say, I think the first off the line box was a tremendous buy on Panini's website, especially at floor if you were able to get a box or a case or pretty much anything under $450, in my opinion. Considering Hobby's about $375, $400, we 
was a steal because you do get two additional first off the line parallels it's basically like having two golds per box and golds are very hard to hit we might open up several boxes before you see a single gold or you might even open up a case and only see like two golds so to get those two extra parallels in each box is huge we are going to get one auto as well um so let's go ahead and keep it on rolling 150 cards total uh 10 packs 15 cards per pack so you're going to see a ton of cards um ton of base there's ao shout out to my dude shy city pools ao dosuma right there on the silver mosaic we have a red of rj barrett there's going to be an introductions of jonathan kaminga that's it stair masters that's straight to the pc stair master silver mosaic of lebron i will happily take that card uh, lebron looking to be the all-time scoring leader soon there's scotty barnes on the national pride so most rookies are going to have, uh, most of the top rookies are going to have a couple of rookies. They're either going to have a national pride and a true rookie or a debut and a true rookie. 300 card set, so this, the checklist is very, very big in this one. But you are going to have multiple rookies, which means multiple opportunities to get color. The true rookies will sell for the most. So, you know, the true rookie will sell for more than the national pride. Uh, second first off the line is here. We are going to get those out of the way early today. Uh, there's Van Vliet. Davion, Giannis, everybody loves tra championship trophy cards. I expect this one will do well. The color or the parallels of that card will sell for very well. Uh, Gary Trent, uh, Paul George, Poku again. Come on, can we get a good? I saw my buddy uh, Shy City Pools hit a Shengun. Can we get a good name on one of these swirls? That's not a good name. It never, ever, ever goes our way. Uh, Bogdanovic to 11. So. We struck out on the first off the line exclusive parallels. That is Bogdanovic to 11. Cam Thomas was an okay name. You know, he is the best of the four rookies for Brooklyn, but Bogdanovic not going to get it done. Three of 10 on that one. Uh, Jeremiah Robinson Earl on the silver, Dort on the red, and Steph Curry on the montage. Oh, so another video where I get skunked on my parallels. That that seems to be a, a recurring trend here on the channel. Um, but hey, at least this box is not you know seventeen hundred dollars, and it I'm still having nightmares about that immaculate box, honestly. However, we if you missed my video on Tuesday, we did pull a logo man for my friend Benny, so it was cool pulling that. Uh, was cool pulling that, but I still have personal nightmares about my own box. Uh, Steven Adams on the silver mosaic. There's going to be Aaron Wiggins, rookie uh, rookie red. Uh, da uh, Davion Mitchell on the introductions. Introductions, silver. Is that a blue introductions? I wish. Uh, introductions, silver mosaic of Franz Wagner. Uh, Franz Wagner again, Cam Thomas, and there's Scotty Barnes on the debut. So we've already seen two Scotty Barnes rookies in this, and we're not even halfway in. So like I said, you're going to see a lot of Scotty. I don't know why I put those up there. Uh, you're going to see a lot of the top rookies in uh, multiple multiple cards in the 300 card set. So even though it's a big set, you are going to see, uh, you know, three Cade Cunninghams, three Evan Mobleys, so on and so forth. And uh, we haven't seen a single Jalen Green in this one yet. Mo Bamba on the silver. We have a red of Malik Beasley. Is this a... Uh... No, this is like an overdrive, right? This is going to be an overdrive. We think these are black 101s. This is not a black 101. That is not a black 101. There's no chance that is a black 101. Told you. My heart raced a little bit. Overdrive Jalen sucks. My heart raced a little bit. I'm still looking for the 101. These overdrives are one of the biggest troll inserts I have seen in recent memory. I can tell you that. Jalen sucks on the overdrive. Even though I knew it, I still had to look. There's our first Giddy and Jonathan Kaminga. Even though I knew... I had to look. I had to look for that 101. We recently pulled an introductions black 101 Brees Hall in our group breaks uh, this past weekend. Was pretty cool. Uh, Darius Garland, Tyler Hero. My, one of my first, we pulled two 101s last weekend from Mosaic Football. And those were some of my first black 101s from uh, pulling those in Mosaic from any year. Uh, Grayson Allen, we have Danny Green. Uh, Pascal Siakam, there's the there's dude we pulled a logo, ma logo man of. Uh, Joker, that is another, ooh, I like that. That is LeBron James from the Heat. Moments in time. That's kind of a, it's a weird photo. I'm trying to remember where, oh, that's Paul Pierce. Okay, never mind. I know what that is. 
but that card the the crazy thing about this card is that in that photo is so washed out it's kind of weird i the, that silver mosaic design usually looks good on these inserts and i'm not so sure about this one it just kind of kind of looks very washed out you, you know back here you have a better photo and then here it's like i pulled this card and i was like wait who is that on that card like you really had to look you really had to look that's a cool card a couple of lebron so far we'll take those there's steph on the national pride this card will sell very well in all of the color a gold or a white to 25 of this card Whew, that one will sell that's what you're looking for in this product so in terms of pricing, this one is on par with Select and Optic. Both of those are around $400 a hobby box. Prism is still up over, uh, Prism's still up over $800, I believe. Uh, Rising Stars of Franz Wagner, Stairmasters of Curry, Paul George All-NBA, JT Thor, LaMarcus Aldridge, uh, Maxi right there, playing well. Isaac Okoro, Silver is going to be Paul George, PG-13. And then for the Suns, that is the point god to 99. 30 of 99, on the Paul or on the uh, Chris Paul point God. Hopefully we can see a case hit. I would love to pull a stained glass today. How, hopefully, how about how about a trifecta of LeBron? One being a stained glass. I would consider that a dub. I just realized we also have not yet pulled our autograph, so we're still looking for that auto with three packs here to go today. Uh, thank you for rocking with me on a Friday. If you want to hop into some mosaic breaks, I will have them available on the website RunGoodLife.com. We'll be ripping uh, on Sunday, actually. I forgot. Tomorrow is the Royal Rumble, so I will not be live on Saturday, but I will be live Sunday after the championship games. We will be doing football. We will be doing basketball. We'll be doing Illusions, Flawless, and uh, Mosaic. Uh, Keon Johnson for the Blazers. We have a red Franz Wagner. Uh, that is a montage of Luca, A Julius Randle silver mosaic montage. Zaire Williams, LaMelo National Pride, and Delano Banton. I'm pretty sure that the National Prides for basketball will sell very, very well. Uh, also, that Giannis Trophy will sell well. Um, so you're going to have to, you know, some cards, some of the rookies, because there are so many rookies, I, I feel like like the Evan Mobley debut and stuff probably won't sell for nearly as much as maybe you would think, even on the golds or the nicer colors. But there are going to be cards from this set that do very, very well in the singles market, I believe. Uh, John Collins, Jay Crowder, Kelly Oubre. There's LeBron. There's your base LeBron. We have our auto coming up right here. Show me a giddy for the PC. They're never good. Where you guys? I'm going home. One consistent trait of Panini basketball, or Panini mosaic, even across basketball, across football, across baseball, is the autographs are never any good. Also, this set sucks. I, I hate that it just has autographs at the top. Uh, Mark Price is our autograph. I, I, I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. I, I really don't know what I was expecting. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. One of the worst things about Pan Mo Panini or Mosaic is that the autographs just always suck. Uh, sorry to Mark Price fans. That's a nice one, though. That is a Ja Morant Silver National Pride. Again, I expect that card will be a favorite among collectors. Donovan Mitchell on the red. We've got Kawhi. Mm, starting five. That's kind of cool. Starting five for the uh, for the Bucks right there. Except that dude. Except that dude. We hate that dude, Grayson Allen. Nobody, nobody likes you, Grayson. He's an asshole. Uh, we've got Santi, Jalen Suggs, and Jonathan Kaminga. All right, final pack of the day. I hope you've enjoyed today's video as we take a look at Mosaic Basketball 21-22 here in 2023. Uh, no amazing color in this one, unfortunately. No case hits. Uh, so basketball continues to be cold for me personally. There's Luca, Kelly Olynyk, Brandon Ingram. We've got Harrison Barnes on the silver mosaic. Red is going to be Maxi. We couldn't even get Luca. Uh, we've got a Rising Stars. These look pretty cool. I'm sure they look pretty good in some color. Yeah, that one would look good in color. Uh, we have a Rising Stars. Like I said, it would look good in color. Rising Stars of Cade making a debut. Kawhi with some trophies on the finals MVP. Luca all NBA, and we're going to end with a Trey Murphy. So, my thoughts on the product. Um, 400 for hobby. First off, the line seems fine at, at this price point. Maybe a little high. It seems fine at the price point. Um, hobby, I think, is going to be much rougher. You know, we did get those two exclusive first off the line parallels in this one. Uh, ours were not great. But just the fact that you get two extra parallels to 10 and 11, I think that extra value is a huge boost 
So I expect Mosaic first off the line to remain popular. I think Hobby would be a little a little harder to stomach. So if you could imagine this box with just these cards and take those two out, then I think it gets a little challenging to, to you know, see it, I've, see it at a $400 price tag. I think, you know, 300 or 275 is probably a better price point. If you're if you've got 400 bucks to spend and you're looking for a box from 21 22 basketball, I think you have to put it into select right now. I think select is the best buy. I think it's a little undervalued at about 400 to 450 just because the ceiling is so damn high on that product. Things like rookie gold court sides and even uh, veteran gold court sides, uh, even tie dyes to 25, of course, black one ones and huge RPAs. You can hit some monster, monster cards out of select basketball. Uh, you can also hit them out of like Prism, Hobby, not necessarily Prism Fast Break, which is like 300 bucks. Uh, Optic is also a solid buy, so I would rate this, you know, like every other collector. Even though I love Mosaic, you guys know all about Mosaic. June here on the channel back in 2020, when all I did was open Mosaic for an entire month looking for the Zion Genesis. You guys know that I love Mosaic, but I have to keep it real with you. Um, if this was an early release, early cycle product, I would like it a lot more. It being one of the final products of the 2021-2022 class, I just don't like it that much anymore. I like the design. The price point is a little high if you compare it to the other products. You gotta go with Optic or Select, in my opinion. Now, if this comes down and, and this product craters down to like 300 a box, I, I think it's a, a much better option. There's gonna be some very, very nice cards from this product, you know. Gold John Morant or gold Steph Curry, a lot of inserts, a lot of opportunities to pull golds and uh, low numbered stuff. I like, but right now I would stick to first off the line. I, I don't know how much they're going to be on secondary market, but I think those two extra first off the line parallels are huge. That's going to do it for me today. Leave me your thoughts. What do you think of uh, uh, Mosaic? Are you going to buy any? Are you going to wait for retail? Because I'm sure the Genesis hunt will be in full effect by this time next month. Or are you going to hop into some breaks? Again, I will be live on Sunday after the championship games. I will not be live tomorrow. Enjoying the, Ro enjoying the Royal Rumble with my friends. Hoping that Cody Rhodes gets a dub and we have Roman and Cody at Mania. We'll just have to see. That's going to do it for me. Take care. Stay safe. And we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.